Hey guys, this is Dan Elf from Hidden Bigfoot Research Lab, and the shop is so full today. Uh, everyone's up in my stuff. I got my messed up project trike, which I just kind of got sitting there. The tractor's in here broke down. It started raining, and I had to pull in the project car. It's just, you see, it's, it's just exactly under the roof. <laughs> my steering wheel got dripped on just a little bit. But all the rest of that, I mean, it didn't hurt it to get wet. And look, it, it rained quite a bit, didn't it? It's just full of water. I need to drain that. But anyways, that's why that, that's not why we're here. Today, I'm just going to show it. Like, I'm not, I'm not even doing this. I'm just recording this for y'all. My nephew needed to change his alternator out. And we had to wait a couple days on shipping. But... He has a 2001 Saturn. Uh, 1.9. And I say it's a 2000. It's a 2000, 2001 Saturn EFI OHC Overhead Games. Yeah, with the 1.9. And to get to the alternator. I mean, uh just a quick run through and make sure and unhook the battery just take off the negative cable put it to the side because you don't want to arc out anything when you're messing with that arc that alternator terminal that's going to be hot going to it <laughs> the kid on the well, but he was swapping out batteries to get it here you got to release the serpentine belt okay right there, that pulley there, you got to release a serpentine belt. Just put a wrench on that and then swing it back towards the firewall. And then the belt just lifts off. And I've got it looped over here so that I know how to get it back on. They may have changed it. And then you need to take the wheel off, get it jacked up, put it on jack stands. Always have jack stands. You do not want a car to fall on you. Ever. But And then take the dust panel down or at least loose and you can act this one this job was kind of kind of a pain you I recommend someone doing it with small hands but there was a uh, two bolts I don't know where they put them I was gonna show you uh, there's lug nuts Anyways, there's a long nut with a there's a long bolt with a nut. You've got to hold on one side, so you probably need to be able to get underneath of it. And from this side here, this plug goes into the back, and this little terminal here, which is a number ten, the alternator goes in here. See, it's right above the oil filter. It kind of goes in here and swings up. Oh, I can't see my screen. To, I believe it's that. So I do this all by screen here. It goes up into like right there. And I kind of had to do that. I kind of had to come from the side, I believe. Yeah, I did. I had to come from up here. And I had to like squeeze my little hand in with a wrench and just wrench it down. You might be able to use a small quarter inch, or not quarter inch, uh, a small three eighths shallow well. But I don't, I, I don't think they had any luck with that. A ratchet wrench would would have been nice. So I recommend that for that bolt. But then after that, it just swung right on out. And I don't have a video of putting it back together. But this is this is what it takes. I mean, you got to be able to access right here. I think the clip. There was a little bit of room here. Uh, I mean, I could almost do this job by feel, but I'm a little bit more experienced than a lot of people. And before it was over with, either way, it had to come out here. So yeah, you got to jack it up, put it on a jack stand, take the dust cover off, and then. Or this inner crowl, inner whatever they're choosing to call this cover. 
mud flap, whatever. And you can get up in there with a wrench and a socket. Alright guys, thanks for watching and please subscribe. And check out my other videos. Sorry this wasn't a great one, but it shows you what you gotta do. I wish I could find that bolt and nut. I have no idea where they put it, because I did not do this one. But alright, thanks guys.